This is one of those games I've been wanting to play since forever, but I've never really gotten around to doing it. Now, today I'm gonna be starting with the very first chapter of the Game of Thrones series. There's gonna be six chapters in total, I have no idea what to expect, but I guess we better jump into it. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. For thousands of years, House Forester have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. In the darkest reaches of the Wolveswood, they harvest their rare ironwood trees. Now the North has been ripped apart by war, and rival houses seek to claim Forester Ironwood for themselves. And the fate of House Forester hangs in the balance. Now, one thing to know about me playing... <laughs> one thing to know about me playing Telltale games is that in general, I end up killing everyone I interact with. For some reason, I have a tendency to make all the wrong choices. And undoubtedly so, I'm gonna do the same thing in this one as well. I have no idea what to expect out of this though, because I did read all of the books of the, you know, the Song of Ice and Fire. But I don't know how it's for us though. And set free by the women. You'd think he done it himself the way he tells it. Old Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. I don't know how's Forrester, and if I'm not mistaken, we've never actually heard of those guys in the books or in the series for that matter. Now, I'm a massive fan of the series, it's really good, but... Make sure it's spotless this time. Old Forrester won't be happy with blood and brains all over it. You're from Scotland. Oh, it's only blood. It's only blood. Scotland, aka where the dwarf no. It sounds now pretty that, similar to dwarfish though. Sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. <laughs> He's Scottish as well. Like that. I say that as a friend. Uh, if we're being honest. Don't be an arse. Oh don't be an arse, Bowen. <laughs> Apologies, your lordship. I had Andy, you know. <laughs> Andy what? Capturing him! He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk, he barely made it out of his tent. So, what Rick's really happened? Us he caught Tyrion, too. <laughs> so, so we, really we do have the main characters. Them, I suppose. That's Kenny man here, and they'll say it was them. You captured the Kingslayer. Aye. Well, I had a hand in it. Aye. A hand round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What do I tell you? I brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. Not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face! You're questioning Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story. Which grows more far-fetched every time he tells it. Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. I don't take orders from you. I have no idea who that guy is anyway. I don't take orders from you. No, but you take orders from him. You idiot, you're his squire. Now fetch him some wine. Now, Bowen, I don't like you very much. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach, and House Tully is forever in his debt. They've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. I wonder. Let your cup. The night we celebrate. We get to drink the the Lord's wine, but I wonder how much you know we will actually see the main character of the series in the books. I'm not entirely sure what to expect. The King in the North. The King in the North. I got coffee. Does that count? March on Castle Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the Young Wolf's army and ride as the vanguard. The gods have favored us. Onward to Castle Rock! Oh. Death to the Lannister! Ooh. Iron from ice! Iron from ice! Yeah. Ride. We gave a toast as well. Got it. <laughs> now I don't want to spoil. I don't want to spoil any of the other stories. But keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this. Men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question of what's to be done with you. It's been on my mind for a while now. 
With me, my lord? Something must be done. With me, my lord? You've served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? I want to fight. You served me well. Let me fight for you, my lord. You've more than proven your ability on the battlefield. No man would question that. But? There were those who had oh. their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. We're getting well promoted already? Your it's it's long overdue. No, 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 I won't let you down. <laughs> I promise. I won't let you down. It's That's it's long overdue, dude. Knows. Bad but time, our <laughs> Lord Forrester. We're celebrating tonight. I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. Now go and find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Thank you. Bloody hell! Didn't he? Squire, fetch us more wine. Can you give me a hand? I got promoted just now, dude. Come on. Can I get up to you? No problem. Yeah, no problem. He asked me. He asked me nothing to really I tell you, right? I longer than you, so I outrank you. You should help me. Not anymore. You don't. But um, I don't want to spoil any of the other stories from the books or the series. But of course, we will interact with I think wine, you know several of the characters. And we already heard a couple of, you know, hints at where we are currently at in the story. He's a drunk, a liar, and an arrogant prick. It's your job to do the work and stop complaining. You try squiring for Norin and see how much you like it. See, that's where you're lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in big shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. But not by much. Don't get angry with me. We're no different, you and I. I, but I'm not the son of a pig farmer. My father had wow. dignity. Wow, I really don't like you. First you command me, All and now. I'm saying is, at this rate, we'll never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be squires for life. All in wine around a fucking What's wedding. Should I tell him? No, 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 I'm not gonna tell him. Time. There's no reason for it. No I'm reason. Sick of listening to your wine. With that attitude, you'll never be more than this. Easy for you to say. Maybe if my uncle were castle, then I'd feel different. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. How much further? That's right over there. Oh. All right. I know very well where we are currently at in the story with the young wolves. Take and... your time. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing Lord Walders in a generous mood. Fucking phrase. Nice night for a wedding. They brought their weapons. Nothing he finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. Did you not see that? What? What's wrong? They got their weapons on them. He was even setting his crossbow. Just gotten into you. You're acting rather odd. We need to get back She's now. Too much wine. We need to get back now. They're fine. They can wait. No, you don't understand. We need to go. And take the fucking flagon already. We need to go, dude. Like, go. What's wrong with him? Something the matter? They're wearing Boy, armor we as go. well. You go if you're in such a rush. Oh. <laughs> Already? We have to warn the others. See? Good luck. I already made the first wrong mistake. So here's the thing, I only have a couple of seconds to make my decisions. Oh, Woo! And if I make the wrong one, that's permanent. I can't change that. It will change the rest of the story as well and the outcome of other storylines too. So in many scenarios, if you if you make 
If you make a split, like, second decision, you can very quickly mess up. Already killed one person here. The first one we met in this game. What a surprise. Oh, no. Oh, no. I got a, I got a shield, though. Oh. Give me that thing. Oh, in the face. Oh, was that Roderick? I got a house forester shield at the very least, but... Ready, boys! Whoa! Shoot that one! Oh. Yes, please! Oh, walked over. Dude. What an aggressive beginning of a game. I thought we were just hanging out and then I read the words Red Wedding. Look out. Went all downhill from there. I love the graphics here, that's really cool. Get out. Get out. Looks like we made it at least for now. Man, they've got a lot of men. Escaping death by the minute. Oh no. I could I did not make that one in time. The horses! The horses! No, it is not Roderick. All right. Ow! Good fucking riddance. I don't know what a horse weighs, but I don't think having it on your chest is a very healthy way to start the day. Why do I not just grab a sword, though? I mean, got it. Did you find Roderick? Yeah, he got wrecked by a horse just now. Speak up, Garrett. To see him or not, the phrase. They they slaughtered him, my lord. Where's my squire? You didn't leave him, did you? Uh ye... to him. I had to. I, I had to leave him. I had to leave him! I had no other choice. I had no other choice. My squad is just terrible. Find a weapon. Quickly! If you go apparently too close to the wall. You got Scottish. Hey, we got a weapon at the very least now. Hey, that's my weapon now. You know I'm much better with a sword than you, even though I'm just a squire. Lord Forrester got some proper training. You are afraid, you fucking traitor. Go, my lord, while there's still time. Do you think he just took an arrow in the shoulder? I was gonna say, that's not gonna... That's probably gonna pierce the lung or something. You wounded, my lord. I've I'll, suffered worse. I'll, I'll state the obvious. <laughs> He's gonna die, isn't he? Everyone's just dying. Guard this with your life. Return it to Ironrath, where it belongs. Oh. There's no time to waste. I'll be damned if I let it fall into the hearts of those traitors. Hmm. You have to go. I will do as you command, my lord. You have served me well. I know I can count on you. Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him. The North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? Is that like a... swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. The future of the house may depend on it. I swear that I will, my lord. All right. Hey, it's those foresters. On your honor, you must do this for your house. Go. Kill those uh. fucking foresters. Well, well, well. <laughs> he just grabbed it we with his hand. Just run. Just run already. Episode one. Iron from Ice. Now, one of the things I really like about the A Song of Ice and Fire books is that 
all of the different chapters gets like told from different points of like different points of view from different people. I don't know exactly if it's the same in in this game as well. If you've got different people that we you know play the story through, but we look like an awfully poor boy here with a sword that is probably like worth far more than my entire family, except apparently my uncle. My uncle is some important dude. Hello, Piggy. I like bacon. Okay, no, no, no. No bacon right now. Ooh, there's blood on the ground. Blood. Don't Fresh. touch that. Has your mom never told you about STIs and other kinds of diseases? That's... You don't touch other... You don't do that, dude. It's a terrible idea. In particular in these, you know, less than hygienic situations. Life pro trip, uh, life pro tip, don't, don't touch other people's blood if you can avoid it. Particularly if it's on the ground. <laughs> Bad idea. Alright, so we found blood, we found a dead pig. I'm sure it can't hurt you that much though, but... It would make common sense to not, you know, not do that. Maybe it was from the pig though, we don't know. Do we really have this car? Oh, 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 we're already home. Lord Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. I'm gonna wreck these guys. But at least still have his bacon. Did you hurt my dad? Did you just kill a pig for no apparent reason? Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. <laughs> Father. I said move on. I'm going to kill you. Is that so? Yep. You can try if you like. And then we'll feed you to the pigs. Get. What pigs? Off my land. This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new warden of the north. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. Oh, they hurt dead. I'll have that sword, boy. Alright. No, I'm not gonna give it. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, fuck. Sorry. My British is not as great as it used to be. Finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. No way. Ooh. Ooh. An axe or they are a pig farmer. Oh no, 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 no. There you go. Stab him in the gut. Oh no, in the in the throat. That works. How many people have died? Is anyone keeping count? Axe is way too common in video games. Oof. Give me that sword. I need that sword of House Forester. Ah. I mean, in this Game of Thrones, I don't know what I was expecting. Absolutely I not. I, I have a family. Sure, a family but you attack me, dude. Me. I have no quarrel with you. No, please. I have tried playing the. I, I've played the nice way I in all these Telltale games. I've played the nice way a hundred times over, and it always fails. I always end up making the wrong decisions. We'll be, we'll be fair, but very, very stern, I suppose, throughout this series. Whew. Father. Garrett, you survived. Oh, you didn't even notice that, Dad? Are you kidding me? You were your, looking your at sister. this fight, right? Oh, she hid. Did she die? Oh, no. I tried to stop them.
I'll kill the men who did this. <laughs> that... <laughs> All right. Oh, we're back in Iron Hat, uh, Iron Rat right now. Stronghold of House Forester. That is where we were originally planning to go. It's Garrett. Get the Castellan. Tell him his nephew survived. Lord Forrester died himself, Garrett. though. I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the maester. Meet us in the Great Hall. Quickly! Two Whitehill soldiers? And a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she... She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. I wonder how far up north we are, because it's quite a bit of traveling. From the Red Wing to mm, right here, I guess. Blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. It's also the reason why the Boltons are in power now. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the Whitehills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. But the <sighs> I'd do it again. See it that way. I'd do it again if I had the chance. If we don't respond with strength, they won't stop until they have everything. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Ugh. Hold the wound open for me, would you? You're gonna throw maggots in my... Don't throw maggots in there? Are you kidding me, dude? Oh no! Oh no! Thank the lords for for modern medicine. <laughs> dark days, I fear. All right. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. The greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man, and poor Roderick, a serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Our house will never fall. By the gods, let's hope you're right. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. I'm sure maggots are actually uh, a good thing, though. But this it's might hurt a bit. It's just gross. <laughs> it's just really gross Hold to see. Me, will you? <laughs> Imagine going to the doctors and they ask you to keep your own window you so they can sprinkle some bugs in. Like, <laughs> to save your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Roderick was already dead. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of warcraft. That's not how it happened. Roderick had already fallen. Hmm. Although I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house, high or low. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first. To see if you can put any weight on that leg. Uh. Wow, Go good on. as new. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. Alrighty. So I guess we'll have a quick little peek. This is Maester, or Maester Orton Grin. I can show him my sword. I can look at the medical supplies though. What do we have? We can touch this bucket. I always wanted to touch a maester's bucket. Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? You got a bucket yes. full of maggots? Wow. How do you even keep those fresh? Uh, I'm okay without that bucket. Um, I don't really want to show him my sword. I don't know hmm. if he's... You seem to be favoring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm fine, Maester Ortengrin. Look, I'll show you. I don't... I don't know if I can trust anyone here. One thing I've learned from uh, from these types of games is that you cannot really trust anyone. The people that you trust are going to die eventually. That's kind of the main thing. The Ironwood Grove. So wait, what did it say at the beginning? 
We made our, our wealth through the selling of ironwood. I guess it's kind of a special kind of tree that grows over here or something. We can sort of see those, I suppose, in the background there. Still a little bit different. Um, Alright, fine. We'll show them the sword. I mean, it's not like it couldn't notice that already. <laughs> it's a good thing you've done, bringing that back to House Forrester. By right, that belongs to Lord Ethan now. There's a tapestry on the wall? Mm-hmm. I may be mistaken. You do seem able to put weight on it. Yep. So wait, this is Lord Forrester himself right there and Roderick? Guess that's the oldest man. And we got Roderick. Who is his oldest son. I guess Ryan is his second oldest son. Not, third, not sure who Talia and Ethan are. Or maybe they're even younger than, than Ryan. And then we also have Asher. Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Oh. Alright. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Oh, never mind. Never mind. It's actually Ethan right now that's the, that's the Lord. Ryan is even younger? Ryan. Never easy being the fourth born son. Oh, yes. So it's Roderick, whatever his name was, Ryan and Ethan. All right. We got Mira as well as Lady Forrester. Lady Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a Forrester myself. Mira. Mira. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. Kind of feels, uh, kind of feels a little bit like, uh, like House Stark, right? With the oldest daughter also in King's Landing. Uh, no, you see there, you're limping again. I'm fine, really. All right, so where do I go? Can I leave? See, I can even run, dude. What's this going to? Well, I can't go there. I'm not sure how powerful uh, this house is, though. That's kind of the main thing. Obviously, with Sansa, the whole issue was that she was actually a Stark, right? But how how influential is House Forrester? They don't seem to be that Did big. Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Um. Can I leave? Can I go now? <laughs> That's what I wanted I to ask you. Yeah. will be fine. <laughs> Any time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? That I got maggots Your in my family... leg? That I've had a mad crush on you since I was 14? Which, which part, uh, Talia? I'm so sorry. Oh, you mean my family? Oh, all right. All right, sorry. Off to bed now. Hurry on. <laughs> Let's break the awkward tension by just bringing them, sending her to bed. <laughs> Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He saved my life, my lady. Yet not Roderick's. Oh, excuse me. You were with Roderick, no? I was. I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything... Rob Stark named him to lead the van for the march on Casterly Rock. A fitting tribute, no doubt. He was House Forrester's best. She would have rather see me dead and Roderick live. It's been lives. so incredibly difficult for us. Especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? He he told me Any only last words before he passed. If you can remember. No, no, I'm not gonna tell her to North Grove. It means so much to the family. He asked me to return this to House Forrester. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. That's, Thank you. That's Dad. good. We did of not course. tell him of the North Grove. I can't Take tell him. Take a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. 
I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. Ramsay Bolton this is coming. On Forrester land. Ramsay Snow is coming here. He's actually uh, a Bolton. He'll arrive within a week. Oh no. Those men will say oh, no. peace in the name of House Bolton. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett's suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. It was his family they killed. We should demand justice. Aye. Justice on their terms. Which means they'll have your head. Justice is taken, not demanded. Then what's to be done? Freaking Ramsay. <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. But I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. I'd have done the same, as any man would. I've done nothing wrong. Not in their eyes. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Duncan. Where would I go? But, but where would I go? The one place beyond the reach of even House Bolton. You're sending him to the wall? The boy's done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. It's actually a fair I'm decision. I'm afraid it's the only solution. Especially now, when the house is so vulnerable. Uncle, I don't... My place is here. I don't want to go. We'll defend the house. You said we need men who can fight. There'd be nothing we could do to protect you. To stay would bring destruction upon us all. I know it's that's actually, not what you want. It's actually I a good it's point. it's difficult to understand. But you must think of the house. I'll do what asks... Oh, what is asked of me? I'll do what's asked of me. I know it doesn't seem fair. But it is what's best. Okay, that so settles it then. for those of you unfamiliar with Ramsay, Ramsay Snow, you can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. Used to be a bastard, becomes the son of Lord Bolton, and he is basically the most hated man in Westeros. Like. You, up to me. you can't possibly come up with someone who's more hateable. Given the chance. I, I hope he comes into this game willing, as well. Someday, I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. I know you want to stay. But Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the house ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great <sighs> uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. You're all I have left. You're the only family I have left. In my heart. I need to tell him of the grove. I'll see you again. I can't. I can't not tell I've him of the grove. The right moment to tell you. Yeah, I was gonna say. What? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, "The North Grove can never be lost." You fulfilled your duty. Sorry, you caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. I'm curious. What is the North Grove? Most <clears throat> don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools, and it's better kept that way. You haven't told anyone else, have you? Not a soul. This is important, Garrett. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, 
I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. Alrighty. <clears throat> Looks like we're heading up north then. I think we can trust him. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. So, remember, you represent House Forrester. Not the Your wall, actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll make you proud. You already have. So, for anyone unaware of what the the wall actually is, basically up north, in the land of Westeros, there is a wall that they build against the so-called North, right? Uh, technically not the North, but anyway. Beyond the north, there's like all kinds of stuff we don't want to deal with right now. Jared, wait. And the wall is, is guarded by men who basically got sent there and they're redeemed of like any, you know, mistakes that they made beforehand. And they, they basically are, you know, allowed to start over again. So people that make mistakes instead of like getting killed often get sent up north or you know they actually kind of have to decide on their own and that's exactly where he is headed right now that does mean though that he needs to he needs to leave his old family behind he's not allowed to like you know uh, have a wife he's not allowed to uh, ever become a you know a lord or anything like that so it's kind of a mess to go up there but I guess it's the only solution right now in particular knowing that Ramsey is coming this way it could definitely turn out to be a mess but anyway let's take Talia's necklace did she have a crush on me as well? Be safe. Aww. Aww. Talia liked me. We just got here. We probably traveled for a good couple of weeks, but... Are we switching character? Oh, that'd be awesome. Oh, that's Lord Ethan right there. All right. I couldn't find him. Could you? It's Talia. That's Rory. Rory is that what his name was? I think it must be. He hides too well, and if he were smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. I win. Congratulations, your lordship. Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid Ryan. game. I don't like it. He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here. And I promise, I'm not going anywhere. I wish Mira was here. And Asha. And... And Roderick. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing and... Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Asher went off, right? Ryan, to another island or whatever it was said? safe, I promise it you. said something. It was abandoned to... I don't want Gareth Assos? to die either. Ass I don't know. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Gareth. He was nice. Gareth is strong. He can take care of himself. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Royland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Royland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? And he calls you a milksop. Sir Royland forgets himself. I don't care what he says. I can protect you. What does milksop mean? I don't know, but I know it's not good. Ethan, you should let Sir Royland teach you how to wield a sword. Like, like a man. He taught Roderick wow. and Asha, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. <laughs> Lord should know how Wrecked to fight. by his sister. <laughs> Do you remember when we were younger? When we all used to play here. Like a real man. <laughs> Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. But then, well, 
and everything changed. Roderick became so serious, the Lord in training, and he never smiled anymore. And Asher, Asher just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that, please. Just it's, be you. It, it's kind of like, like you the way you are. it is kind of like the family Stark, though. I know a Lord has many responsibilities, but you don't need to be like them. I may have to change. I mean, what are the brothers brother send off? The one getting serious That's because he I'm gets afraid. to take over the lordship. Like the oldest daughter well, in King's Landing. Since you're the new lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. So I could have all the sweets I want. If only it were that simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. But Ethan will be a as good many lord. As you'd a like. proper lord. As many as you'd like, yes. Really? <laughs> of course. Why not? We'll be nice to Ryan for a second. Lord Ethan, you're needed in the Great Hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. I'm just thinking about candy. Not necessarily What's a bad the thing, though. Lord Whitehill has arrived. Unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. No. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. If I were Lord, I would command Ethan to stay with his family. Lord Whitehill is a mean old man anyway. I don't like Rory. I might remind you, Roy Sir Roy I'm the new Lord of House Forrester. Not you. Of course, my lord. I don't like Roiland whatsoever. It's okay. You should go. It's what must be done. Fine. Let's be done with of it. Of course I was gonna go, but I don't like Roiland. He's probably to be trusted, though. Roiland is probably one of those guys who's just, like, really powerful and, like, not good with words, but still the one to trust. That is probably where I will make the mistake, but I don't like Roiland very much. All right, Lord Whitehill. Are they with the Boltons or are they not? They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here. The business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is, was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong. So don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you said you were the Lord. Now prove it. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. I can handle Lord Whitehill. Well said, my lord. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. Okay. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men rule over. So... We got Lord Whitehill, and we got Lord Bolton coming over. Whitehill is sort of like the annoying little dude. We don't care so much about him. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house. I'll shake his but hand. To his family, I'll, I'll, thank, I'll thank him. Thank you, Lord Whitehill. Huh. Left him hanging. <laughs> Excuse me? My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I've been waiting for this day all my life. I may be young, but I'm not so easily fooled. They're trying to rile me. It worked on me. But it won't work. Young? You are that boy. Too young to know when you're in over your head. And no bread and salt. What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Bloody foresters. Fetch Lord Whitehill some bread and salt. It was an oversight, Lord Whitehill. I promise it won't happen again. Not likely. You foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. Lord Ethan, 
You're losing control of this. We all serve House Bolton now. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the Ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business, keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said, when your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attacked for no reason. Garrod was only defending himself. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, wow. Lord Ethan? This guy. He acted in your name. And you are the lord of this house. Wow, he's too, so lord cool Whitehill. and sending. Your men murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. The soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? I took care of it. He received his punishment and it's done. He's gone. What? Gone? That was my justice to deliver, boy, and you denied me of it. Oh, come on. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. I don't trust Bolton one what bit. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. There you go. Thanks, Mom. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. But this... this is not over. It's over when my son says it is. Thank you for coming, Lord Whitehill. I've been polite, guys. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. That lad may be lord of this house, but Lord Bolton will have the final say. I I'll like send this him guy. a raven letting him know a forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. Do as you like, Lord Whitehill. What an ass! <sighs> that guy. Garrett should have taken him out as well. I was wrong about your son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Oh no, I don't like Ramsay. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Ooh. Your sister can help us. Oh, we're on uh, King's Landing now as well? a handmaiden. She has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. Ooh, Marjorie. And Lady cool. Marjorie's betrothal to the King may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. There we go. So we're playing Sansa, I mean, I mean, <laughs> Myra. In King's Landing, that is way down south. This is basically the capital city of Westeros where the king lives and all that shenanigans. Um, we got an unfinished ladder over here. Let's have a quick look. Father, much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and mother could come, although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. I like how all of her, uh, all of her family has like a Scottish accent, but since she lives down south, she has a British one. Like a, an English-British one, that's... That's alright. We got a Yunkish coin, carved ironwood tree, don't really care, nah, I don't really care. Mm -mm -mm. A dusty old tomb. Is this my is this my little room, like my Wonders living quarters or whatever? By man, by Lomas Longstrider, a gift from Roderick. He did. I hope to see them all someday. Nope, he's he's dead. 
He's gone. King's Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. <laughs> she seems to have lost a lot of sense of what's going on in the world. That's all right. Letter from Mother. Ooh, nice. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. I mean, I can open the door. <laughs> All right, who could that be? One moment. Oh, sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. No, it's fine. Come in. Wait, so this is like one of the slaves or whatever? One of the servants? I guess that's a nice word of slave, I suppose, over here. Begging your pardon, lady, but you're all right. If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'm just worried about my family. Ah, letter from home, is it? It's kind of you to ask. Of course, my lady. You've always been kind to me. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. Lady Marjorie is coming to the room? You work for Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. Oh, I'm her hand. Oh, I'm Lady Marjorie's I'm handmaiden. handmaiden. That's what oh. I thought. I've seen you with her before. Oh, all right. You seem like good friends. We're pretty high up. We are pretty high up. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? Mm. They appear to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but it was definitely an argument. Why are you telling me this? I heard them arguing about House Forrester and- House Forrester? No. I thought you'd like to know. Forgive me if I was mistaken. I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing, with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Good night, my lady. Interesting. It's Marjorie! She lady looks Marjorie, exactly like... You're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Oh, that's actually her voice as well. Something we must discuss. That is her voice, right? That's the exact. Wow, she looks exactly like the like the when actress. The day you arrived in High Garden, I thought of you more as a friend than <laughs> as my handmaiden, a dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. She also has these cringy what lines. What suffered is beyond imagining. <laughs> I need your help, my lady. We'll jump straight to conclusions here. Of course. Here. And I will help you in any way I can. But there's another matter we must attend to first. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. She mentioned the Northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. Uh. She was very pleased with herself. Well, how did you respond? I told her you are one of my most trusted handmaidens, that you can hardly be blamed for the actions of your father and brother. Nonetheless, she demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what, I don't know, but she's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. Huh. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford what, any What would I say? I, I don't want to apologize for so nothing near. I've done. What do I say? 
Find a way to appease her. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. So basically in... See in if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. Basically in this series, we've got like several big houses. Like the Lannisters, like the Starks, uh, like the Tyrells. And then we've got like houses underneath that one that are like not nearly as powerful. We're in one of the less powerful ones, but we're You'll serving the more powerful. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Okay. See, that is not how I work at all. I will I will pretty much always be straight up. It's like Good on luck. a personal level, right? I'll always be straight up about what's going on. I'm not going to beat around the bush. I'm definitely not going to say the opposite of what I'm feeling. So here's the issue. We were so we were serving the Starks. The House Forester was serving the Starks. The Starks, however, got overthrown by the Boltons. Who are well, they didn't really get overthrown, I suppose, but the Boltons are now ruling the north. And the issue is that we are still loyal to the previous house. And not the one currently in power. So that lady right over there. That's Cersei Lannister. And that's her imp brother. Oh man. This is exactly like the books. The books are really good, and the one thing that you can never... Oh man, they look exactly like it. Ah, Lady Marjorie, aren't you looking lovely this And evening? it's also his voice! Lord Tyrion, your grace? With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. We'll do what we are. Oh man, well, we're, we'll be the good guy. We'll be the good guy. We'll we'll do what grace. we'll do what is asked of us, even though well, it's the exact the opposite of what I'm feeling. Impressive. You may rise. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, Your Grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the king? Of course. Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. The girl can speak for her house. Joffrey is the one true king, your grace. Hmm. And yet. For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. A house of traitors. <laughs> they were the Wardens of the North. We all served at the pleasure of the king. Clever girl. It's correct answer, though. Perhaps too clever for her own good. The girl did name Joffrey as the one... What did I not do right? The answer did not satisfy her? Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roos Bolton? Uh, uh, absolutely. We'll save her ass here. I don't want to die. I see. Despite the fact Roose Bolton allied with Walder Frey. If it was me, I'd find it difficult to so quickly forgive the men who killed my father. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose. But I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather unique. To our mutual benefit. There we go. We we are we are walking a very thin and line as it is. Your king. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. All right, fine. We'll kiss her ass. Yes, your grace. I would do anything. That's what she wanted to hear. Look at her. Oh, man. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the war? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Then we went Can to we your son. <laughs> her mistake? Should she be held accountable? 
she only followed her heart. She was just following her heart, your grace. <laughs> totally. And the very same heart so quickly led her to my son. Oh, if come on now. Point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts. This is perfectly Cersei Lannister, though. You are a girl from the North, here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure she Let would... Let the girl answer the question. Go on. I would be true to the king, your grace. Well said. I was beginning to worry you... Marjorie will remember that, of course, but like, what should I do? She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. My sense is this girl will say almost anything to get what she wants. Which is not very encouraging. Oh, come on! You literally begged me to say these words. This is the thing about like Cersei. The with you, if I may. There is no way of you course, can say the grace. correct thing. With Cersei Lannister, it's like... She's probably one of the most difficult characters in the game to read. Like, in the series and books and everything. You cannot please her until you, you, like... Say the exact this words may come as a surprise, she wants I to hear. your father once, at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't dress Drew's Bolton. Now Tyrion, however. briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. Tyrion is probably the most times for your family, reasonable the person in the Thank entire you, game. Tyrion. Or at least, you know, you in the series. He's That's probably my favorite. To so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated. Although Cersei seemed quite pleased. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. I'll try and... I don't particularly like her. Yet you did your best to please. I'll try and be friends with him. You'll do well here in King's Landing. I'll My try and be friends with him. I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. Who is that currently again? The crown needs boats. Boats need wood. And I speak for the crown in this regard. Oh, he's the master of coin. No! No, 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 I meant to say something. Oh, no! I suppose the crown could be persuaded okay, to no, 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 we're good. wood from House Forrester. He is the master of coin. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? It may be far too dangerous. In fact, forget yes. I even suggested such a thing. I mean, we need to save her. This is the goal, okay? Please. Whenever we you play Myra... girl, aren't you? We're gonna save our house. That is I'll our consider. only goal. Every decision we make, now, every big decision, will be me, based around saving our house. Join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. I hope we meet again. Nothing would make Cersei happier. Until then, be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. <clears throat> so Tyrion is always trying to, you know, do the best thing for himself, mostly. Less so for his house, I suppose. But he's also the, probably the most reasonable person. Who's still very straightforward. Mira, I was worried. Is that my handmaiden, or...? How was it? it? Must be, right? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. I'd rather not discuss it, if you don't mind. Of course not. It must have been horrible. But at least it's over now. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Wow. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back. Here with the fourth cousins and the ninth-born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie. 
I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah? <laughs> what? It's true. Right. And over in Martel, the Red Viper. I'm told he has a paramour. Which I doubt is Dornish for He wife. is quite handsome. He is quite handsome. <laughs> and quite passionate. From what I've heard. I'd make an excellent girl. Perhaps Lady Marjorie could make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Oh my god! Although, marrying a king, I can only imagine what that would be like. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? <laughs> Absolutely he does not. He have a certain look about him. And he's always treated Lady Marjorie well. I'd be willing to marry. But not Joffrey. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Let's see, who else should we marry off? Brienne of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> <laughs> what a perfect match! She's like... Sir Bronn and... Twice his length what are you doing? or his height. Uh... Well... We're sorry, my lady. We were just having fun. Come on now, don't be so serious all the time. Game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. Oh no, the women in this in the this series are far pleased by your display. Mirror. Are far more dangerous. I'm just glad it's over. The women in, in King's Landing can be exhausting It's far more dangerous. Sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? Um... Once you are queen, the lords and ladies will do their best to please you. You learn very quickly. You were brave agreeing to obey the Boltons. That cannot have been easy. I know you must fear what Lord Bolton might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. Do we ask for help? So, we just ended up... Alright, so here's the issue, right? We need to ask her for help at home. So, you know, we don't just randomly end up losing our house. The issue is that we sort of spoke against her just a couple of minutes prior to Cersei. What I said earlier, though, I said I would do anything for the house at home, right? This will, like, the thing is, though, if we decide to ask for help right now, it's definitely gonna hurt us later on into the game if it doesn't work. Like, we, we, we won't be able to ask for help twice, I don't think. We'll ask for help now. I... I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. It's about my family. I trust her. Go on. Ask. I received a letter from my family. I fear my family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. But if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the crown. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. That is no small request. Especially now. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene. Is the situation that dire? You can't, my lady. Well, King Sarah. Joffrey won't like it. Just think how he turned on Lady Sansa. I'll be in your debt. 
I will forever be in your debt. My family will forever be in your debt. I mean, it's the only way to save our house, right? Am I crazy? There's not a whole lot I can change here. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out... You're the only one who can help me. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. So, we don't actually know if this is going to make any difference at all. Oh, we're back to Garrett. At the King's Road in the Wolf's Boot. He's still not that far up north, apparently. Wow, Garrett. Good job. Seven hells. The only thing you had. So he was traveling up north to go to the wall. Let's play a little game, shall we? It's Ramsey! My ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat. a messed up person so he is headed to iron out right now oh my god what are you doing not my best work I'm oh sure. no i suppose i have full enough practice but he didn't make it easy what with all that bloody noise <laughs> like a drowning cat i thought he'd never stop as my father likes to say a naked man holds few secrets but the flayed man the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father is the Warden of the North. He does now. How much further is it to these foresters? Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? My lord? Shh! Listen. He is such a hateable character. Oh, no. We gotta get out of here. Hear that? I know I heard something. Stay still. Never mind. We've wasted enough time already. Ramsay Bolton is easily the worst character that this entire series has seen. And any, like, I read a lot of books, I read a lot of stories, I've watched a lot of movies, and there's no one quite as bad as Ramsay Bolton. Because he does not pose to be, a, like, an evil man. It's just that the way he talks and the way his decisions are completely messed up, and the way he justifies everything. Because there's reason behind it as well. Like, if you... I don't know, we can talk about it for a long time. But he justifies a lot of things. The way you think about it, it's like, ah, eh, I guess that makes some sense. It's just so messed up. He's a true sadist. Oh my god. Bloody hell. So, let's head into Iron Rat right now. Lord Ethan, as I was saying, you are young, and there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise, 
and courageous in battle. What would I call me? And what would they call me? That is for you to define as the new Lord. Lord Ethan the Young. These were your father's people to lead and protect. I mean, I'm no, making his decisions, right? He's probably dead your already. father did not bear this responsibility <laughs> alone. <laughs> he and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. I need to choose a Sentinel? Oh, definitely not Ryland. You kidding me, dude? We need his judgment. I've done nothing wrong. I was only trying to survive. <sighs> oh no. Lord Ethan. Missed. Why did you kick this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. Do we have justice in this land or like how does it work? This house is doomed! Know it. Hey, Quiet, dude. Thief. Stop Eric hitting him. We're supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. You stole from us. I feared for my life. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's truth. Right. I've a family to feed. And not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> so you decided to just take matters into your own hand and just steal? Lord oh Ethan, no. I know these words are hard. What do I do? They're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Most of us won't even live to see it. Then you admit to the crime. In front of all gathered here. I am only what this house made me. You cannot expect a man to live on loyalty alone. I mean, we are the we are you practically the dictator in this in this area now. We get to choose what we want. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. I mean, Lord, I'm gonna have to punish him one way or another. We can send him to the war. I will decide. Oh no, I have to make the decision, huh? Take his finger, I was worried please. about that. If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. I don't trust you. Please. Send him to the wall. Show him mercy. Depends on me. Or take three fingers. He is admitted to his crime right in front of all of these people. These people are gonna also steal from us if we end up being merciful here. Don't want to send them to the wall because we need people. It's either to the wall or three fingers. We don't show him mercy over here. We just became lord here. Nobody's gonna trust me if we do. That's kind of the issue, right? I, Ethan of House Forrester, Lord of Ironrath, name you a thief. The price for your crime is three of your fingers. Oh, please, my lord! My lord, please! Please, no! Oh, no, I don't need to see it. Oh, sure, I'll do it. I'll do it. But I am willing to carry it out. I will carry out the sentence. Uh. I'd be a horrible leader, guys. This is nothing I would do personally, but... We gotta chop! That's the price. He stole two shields and three spears or whatever it was. Unpleasant. We had the to do Lord something. Must meet our punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. You can weigh on any lord. The man who so passes the sentence should swing so the sword. Yes. You heard what the thief said. 
I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. <sighs> Possessing wisdom. Who do you think I should choose? There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thing's very highly of the Oh, other. it's definitely not Rayland. Decide between them. Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this bracer upon your chosen sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your sentinel will wear this for all to see. Thank you for your counsel, Maester. It so, is my duty. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. So we need to choose between Royland and my uncle. There is no way I can choose Roiland, right? The thing is, he's probably the right choice. I know very well from like playing these games that the more obvious one is usually the wrong answer. In particular in these... In these kind of scenarios. Anyway, we'll talk to uh, to Duncan here first and foremost. This is family, which also definitely weighs in. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. As Lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. Would you want to be the sentinel? More than you can imagine, my Lord. With all due respect for Sir Royland, there's no one better suited to the role than me. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. Wait, did I misunderstand? It's not actually, uh... He's not actually my uncle? Now, when I say parry, get that sword out! Oh, obviously. Sorry, that was Garrett's uncle. Never mind, never mind. Duncan is not, is not my uncle. We'll talk to Ryland for a second as well. Obviously, um, Garrett was just simply the squire of Lord Ethan's father. It's already getting complicated. <laughs> All right, Sir Royland, I'll talk Lord to you. Up. Swing left, sorry, wrong. I didn't know dogs could hold swords. I don't like his. I don't like his tone. Like you need someone a little more professional than this, right? Like, and I wanted your advice. I need a sentinel. I like. I don't like this guy. He's talking to people condescendingly. He's very cocky and very full of himself. Then again, that may be actually the thing that is good. I need to name a sentinel. Ah, you do, and it's good you came to me. I know this house, and everyone here knows me. They know I can hold the reins or wield the sword in equal measure. I don't like him whatsoever, I'm though. Need. I might not remind you. It was Duncan Tuttle who sent Garrett to the wall. Which is a wise decision. He undermined your authority and made you look weak to the White Hills. I would never do that to you. And if you pardon me saying so, I think your father would be proud. Seeing you make good choices as a young lord. Duncan Tuttle is a good man. Aye, a fine man. Why is he? But he has no business being sentinel. He likes to talk. But now's the time for action. So... When will you declare your decision, my lord? Tonight, at the small council meeting. Very good. I trust your judgment, my lord. Here's the thing, though. Like, someone who is good in, in battle and who is leading the armies and all that is probably not someone you would want to have in charge as, like, the second in command, right? I don't... I don't know. I'm leaning towards Dunker right now. Just because he is... He seems more reasonable. Less harsh though, I suppose. What's going on, bro? How you doing? Careful. Keep at it and you won't have much left. Something to pick your teeth with. No, Ethan. Look at this. 
All good swords have a name. I call mine two brothers. I carve this to give me strength. And this, oh. so I remember. Ethan and Roderick? I mean, I could never forget. Where's Asher? But... And what of your brother Asher? Where's his name? There's only two sides to the blade. Besides, he left, so... <laughs> That's not how brothers work. Yeah. yeah. Someday, I'll have a real one. Yeah, you do. But not like that one. Only a lord could have that sword. You'll have a good sword. I'm sure of it. I watched you today. I saw what you did to that man. Was he our enemy? A bad man? Everyone keeps talking about them. Enemies. Talia told me what it means. Rules mean nothing if we don't enforce them. It doesn't matter if he's good or bad. You can't steal. That's a rule. Well, I say he was bad. Bad men killed Father and Roderick. They need someone to hurt them back. Even worse. I want a real sword. No one's afraid of wood. I'll find the men who took Roderick someday, and I'll make sure I have a real sword when I do. Alrighty then, and I guess with that, it is time to head to the small council meeting if I can figure out how. Are you holding a sword or a turkey leg? I don't, I don't like Sir Roiland very much. Sir Roiland, he's alright. But I don't really want to go there. Um, now, where do I go? I think I have to go talk to the maester again, right? Do I just give him? I don't want to give her right now. Who's that? Maester. Oh, there we go. I was gonna say. We'll go talk to him. Maester? Yes, Lord Ethan. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? I'm ready. What is your perspective? I wanna know what he... I would probably choose him if I could, but he's already a maester, so he's kind of like third of command as it is, I What suppose. is it you're doing over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. <clears throat> I studied it at the Citadel. The wood may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life. How much do we have to give, Maester? From here to Wolfswood Creek and then across the next two ridges, it should be enough to satisfy Ramsay Snow, I imagine. Bloodlust can often be sated by gifts and gold. Okay. That's actually not a bad idea, considering apparently even even the White Hills have five times the men that we do. We can probably give away part of our land and still be alright. Although, it's kind of a thing of weakness, right? Oh, that's pretty cool. That's kind of a sign of weakness, though. Anyway, I'm ready to choose. My lord, are you now ready to name your sentinel? Yes, maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. I like Ethan. Ethan is trying hard, even though he's, uh... He's pretty young. But I guess... If your two older brothers died, or at the very least are gone, Roderick is gone, who was supposed to be the lord here. And then your dad dies as well as, you know, Asher, apparently flat. I guess there's only so much you can do. So this is the small council meeting. I just need to choose a second in command. You may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Duncan, Roiland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. I'm sorry, Roiland. I'm gonna Duncan have to give it to Duncan. You will be my sentinel. Tot! This... this is reckless! Lord Ethan has made his choice. 
I will not disappoint you, my lord. He's gonna be pissed. Now, Sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsey Snow? Our scouts say he's only a day's ride from here. We've no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsey must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Ignore Sir Roiland. You named me Sentinel. <laughs> I knew this would happen. He's immediately he gonna hang it above his head, trusted. huh? Is the bloody small council. Let Sir Roiland speak. I'd like to hear what he has to say, Sir Roiland. No, no. You chose your Sentinel. He should speak on this. Wow. Roiland, you gotta Sir get Ryland out of this small council like this. I'm ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf. But we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. What do you recommend, Mum? Mother. What do you recommend we do? She seems we must wise. give him whatever he wants and be done with it. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! We will fight, we will use diplomacy, or we will bargain. This is another one of those rough ones. First off, we can fight. We've got the White Hills who've got five times our army. Then we got the Boltons who are far, far bigger than the White Hills. There's no way we can fight. I mean, we can look tough, I suppose, and maybe Ramsey will appreciate that. So we can sort of like force our way to loyalty that way, but I don't think that's the correct option. We can bargain as well, give part of our Ironwood away. But that's really the only currency we have and the only reason why we're valuable to the crown anyway. You gotta keep in mind that Myra in King's Landing wanted to make a deal with um, Tyrion Lannister for that Ironwood as well. So I don't think we should give that away. So I think the only right, the only right way to go is diplomacy. My new sentinel favors a certain approach and I agree. I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer our allegiance, and try to reach a reasonable agreement. I don't know, I know, because Ramsey is not someone for, for diplomacy, fight, but... You're bound to lose when one breaks out. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. He is not the diplomacy kind of guy. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of Ramsey. course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. <laughs> well then... Let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Invite him into this hall and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Ramsay Snow is no lord. That's absurd. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. We meet him in Let the house. Let him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed him. I don't think I should upset <laughs> Ramsay. I won't invite him into the Great Hall. I will meet him in the Great Hall. There is no way nice I'm gonna move. shut him out. <laughs> careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering you wrong? That's enough, Roiland. Lord Ethan has given his command. How many years have I served this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore. Forgive me, my lord. But you are not ready to be lord of this house. Wow, just You're because you didn't... get us all killed. Get out. Get out. Get out. You'll regret that, my lord. Just because he doesn't get what he wanted is like a, a child that gets taken away from his toy. You're not going there. Apologies, my son. I had expected better of him. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow in the Great Hall. You got and real we will salty. Not offer our ironwood. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. Alrighty. 
Ramsey Bolton. Or Snow, I guess it is. There will always be those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? You want to bring him back? Oh, he... He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. But won't he be Lord if he returns? I don't think so. Do you want so. him to take my place? Of course not. He has no interest in such things. He's not and getting that anyway. that's what I want either. Asher is volatile. But that is his strength too. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said... Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Oh, that sounds lovely. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities. But you do not have that anger inside you. I'm not like that, but I don't need to be, do I? I seem no. reasonable, though. Ethan seems like but a good you need guy. Someone who is standing beside you. Well, he's gone now. It's gonna take months before he's back anyway, right? Who's that? I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Oh, all right. So we can send Malcolm out to Essos to pick up Asher. I mean, we kind of need everyone's help we can get here, right? So we may as well. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Have fun, bro. Good luck on your journey. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad <laughs> you will let me do this. Well, it's not really you that does that, that does it, right? It's Malcolm, alone. but you are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. <clears throat> Lord Marjorie's or Lady <laughs> Lady Marjorie's chambers. I almost said Lord Marjorie. It doesn't make any sense. All right, she she is setting up where everyone can sit during the wedding. You know, this is where Sansa can sit. Mm, we got a strange key. We got the Tyrell family seal. We could write a letter. We could forge a letter. Is that a thing? We can forge a letter. The stamp is right here. That is the Tyrell seal. We can send a letter right here and save our house. Do you think we can do that? I mean, okay, I told I told you I was going to I was going to play Myra to the best of my abilities and make her safe house forester if we can, whatever we do, whatever it takes. It's probably a really bad idea. Marjorie? Oh. Lady Marjorie is still with the king. I thought you'd want to know. Thank you. This is a rookie mistake, more than likely. Mira, look. The other day when you asked Lady Marjorie for help, I only spoke out of fear <laughs> She for agreed her. to help us as well. I shouldn't have done that. I want to help you if there's anything <laughs> I can do. Your poor family. I can't imagine oh, how Oh no, I feel. shouldn't have done You're that. That so was really officer. silly. Thank you. Lady Marjorie is always saying how important friends and allies <laughs> are in King's Landing. Thanks, Just Sarah, for, for rubbing it in. You if you ever... I just undermine everything. My lady, I'll leave you to talk. 
We'll blame it on Sarah. It's okay. What, what, what did he say? What did King Joffrey say, my lady? The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. I'll need this mended. Gods. He right said up. I was too easily swayed. And he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. I allayed his fear. For now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said could cheer him. He wouldn't even speak to me when I left him. What can I do to make this better, my lady? Kind of glad I took the seal. There's nothing you can do, Mira. Please don't hold it against me. Of course you will. Ramsay Snow is on his way to Ironrath. I'm gonna write a letter if I get the option. This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. <sighs> Soon I will be queen. And maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now, we must both be cautious. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family. If you'll excuse me, my lady. Do you think I get to forge a letter? That's the only thing they use these stamps for, right? Milady. Oh, is that the boy? All right, all right. Begging your pardon, milady. I hope I didn't frighten you. I'm glad to see you. Thank you, milady. I hope you saw. I was right before about Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. I just want you to know I, I can help you if you'd like, and your family. If you're willing to trust me, I hear all sorts of things. Things that could be useful for you. How can you help me? My problems can't be solved by what you might overhear. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. Hopefully I've proven I could be useful to you. I'm sorry. I... I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... He's like a little bird, isn't he? He's one of the lords, uh, Lord of Spiders. People who'd be willing to help you. I have no idea if we can trust him. Where's Sir Roiland? He should be here. He didn't show up here? The man values pride more than honor. We'll do without him. And without King's Land. Oh no, Ramsay's here. I hoped Mira could help us. But I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men stand ready to act if needed. Our plan is a good one. It will work so long as everyone does their part. There he is. Isn't this a lovely pile of timber? The worst man in Westeros. Not the place I'd want to be if there was a fire. Ironwood is near impervious to flame, my lord. Is it? May I introduce Lord Ramsay of House Bolton? Son of Roose Bolton. Although a bastard, Lord Ramsay has the full authority of Thank the you. Warden no, of the... That's enough. I like that he put one love in his place. Who is this little boy? Is he lost? May I offer you bread and salt, Lord Ramsay? I loathe bread and salt. Aren't you the little lord? The Lord Whitehall told me you were young, but this... Look at you. A token for the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Iron. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. No one can match our skill. Is that so? <laughs> Not bad. Lord Whitehill, 
Can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn... Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. Look at that. More foresters. Why are North they Ramsey? here? Get out. Come out where I can see you. We really must focus on the business at hand. Leave them be, Lord Ramsay. Ah. Worried about your family. As you should be. I'm the Lord. I'll have you speak only with me. First. Let's see you bend the knee to my father. <laughs> I don't want to bend the knee. Bolton, warden of the North. Words are wind. If anyone can say they're loyal. I want you to show me. I asked you to kneel, yet you just stand there, gaping at me like a child. You see? He's a fucking traitor, just like his father and brother. Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. The Crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the king. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. You needn't worry. Your father will have what he needs. That's a good little lord. You can't trust a forester. They murdered our men. It was a forester squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One Bolton. He was within his right. They killed his family. His right? He killed a loyal soldier in my father's army. Then you welcomed me into your hall like a proper lord, hoping I wouldn't linger outside long enough to notice your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. Oh no. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? What? The Ironwood? But... That is our livelihood. Then you'd better well find another fucking job. You can't do that. <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. You grow them. You cut them down. The White Hills had ironwood, once, but now those hills are bare. Hence the name, of course. They know nothing of how to cultivate the forest. Look at their sigil, my lord. A barren hill. Do you want ironwood for the next five years, or the next fifty generations? The little lord does have a point. I'm talking my way out of this. this. Slowly, I'll try. Lord Whitehill will take half. Of your iron wood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord, half of something is better than the nothing you have. Should I give before. him half? To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of twenty men within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. No, I don't They'll want. I don't want men. Help maintain the king's peace. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> Not for me. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Griff will lead the garrison. They're gonna be inside of right. our walls? White Hills have no place here! Lads, do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Duncan, don't. Look at this little forest devil. You're not frightened, are you? Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Oh, twin. Well, like the queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the queen and her brother. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. Enough, Lord Snow. Oof. Have an idea. 
You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. <gasps> Lord Ramsay, that's enough. Do you like hunting? Let her go. I cannot let her She's go with that pretty. guy. Your sister. <laughs> there is no way. I've seen what he does. I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the bold lord? <laughs> what have you done? But I don't want a bold lord. <laughs> Far too much trouble. Ethan! Ethan! No! 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 I knew you'd bend the knee eventually. I, I think we've come to an understanding. Lord Ethan! I certainly feel Ethan. better about all this. He's what have you done? However, the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Did I make any mistakes there? Take the boy as your ward. No! Kill him. Did I do anything wrong? Lovely meeting all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him. Fetch the mace so quickly! You brought this on yourself. Mother! Stop! Don't let him take me! Oh, let it go! Stop that! No, please! Ryan, please. Stop it! Let me go! Ryan! Do something! Ethan? I'm pretty sure he would have died, no matter what. I don't think there was anything I could have done to prevent that from happening. Your story has begun! Next time! On Game of Thrones. Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. <laughs> This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me. I was in charge for a whopping three days. <laughs> My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you did it without flinching. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forrester above all other loyalties. Those who will not stop Come. until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again, our house will not fall. Who is that? We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? Here are the decisions that I made today. You and 34.2% of the players left Bowen behind. That was the guy at the beginning of the game. Who was being a total dick to me. I decided to leave him behind because of Seth being a dick. <laughs> you and 20 or 62% of the players swore loyalty to the king. I did. You and 60% took Eric's fingers. I thought I did the right choice. I thought I read the right choice doing that. We did choose Duncan as a sentinel, but 70% of the players did. And then 50.1% met Ramsey in the Great Hall.